Good morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning. <clears throat> Ugh, it's about 5.30 in the morning. <clears throat> Couldn't really sleep well last night, kind of woke up early. Didn't want to really stay home, but it's too cold outside to just walk around or go for a run. But then I remember there is a place that's about to be open in the all-you-can-eat variety. <laughs> Let's go. But hey, actually, I gotta put on my jacket. <laughs> As you can see, I am at the Sheila Hotel Breakfast Buffet. Soon as it opened, six o'clock in the morning. Me and Krista is the only ones here. Krista is the only one crazy enough to join me for this little thing at like six in the morning. But I just remember how amazing this breakfast buffet was when I had it, I think like three years ago. So really excited to relive that food memory. And so typical buffet rules go. When you go up, you have to wear your mask and gloves. And uh, let's get to it. Round one. This buffet is as beautiful as I remembered it. First of all, it's massive with different sections broken down. You got some dim sum stuff there. You got some kanji noodle soup. Chef's recommendation is healthy kanji. I definitely need some of that. Pho here, stir fry dishes, a whole steamed fish here. That looks amazing. You got your typical Western items like bacon and ham and all that stuff, hash browns over here. A massive salad bar and fruit station here. And Sheila is actually really known for their baked goods. So this whole section here is all baked goods and waffles. And you can get whatever you want to drink here in terms of coffee and tea. And if I remember correctly, they do everything in house. I'm so excited for this buffet. It's just as good as I remembered it. First round is the dim sum round. They have so many selections of dim sum. Mm. Oh wow. It's like you're eating this at a dim sum restaurant. It tastes like all they do in the kitchen is perfect dim sum. Mm. A good way to tell if a dim sum place is good or not is by their shrimp dumpling. And that thing, I think it's just so snappy. This chive one just suddenly made me so happy. Mm. Also, it's so cool is um, this is a cheese, I think a, a cheese spring roll or something. And when we were getting it out of the plate, the serving plate, the chef comes over and, and gave us fresh new ones. That's the type of service you get here. Mm. It's like a sweet potato cheese spring roll. And every bite you take the crunch is just like heavenly music.
It's like an inverted sesame ball. You guys ever had that sesame ball from Chinatown Bakery? It's just like a big ball of gelatinous rice fry with sesame on top. They kind of re reverse engineered it. So they put the sesame here on the inside. Genius. Oh, more sesame flavor. Bun is just okay. I'm not really into this. A little bit tasteless on the inside. I think it's just cabbage and some veggies. Vegetarian bun. This is their abalone kanji. Oh my gosh, look at that. Giant strips of abalone. I'm not usually a kanji person, but abalone kanji is famous here. I think I forgot to season it. There's really no seasoning. It's just abalone and kanji. Oh, that's why they give you all this soy sauce and seasoning in the front. Yeah, I didn't season this. No, I definitely should have. If you don't season it at all, it just tastes like flavorless kanji with abalone. But the abalone pieces are nice though. Oh, wow. That's something I can never pass up is whenever I see pho on buffets. Obviously not as good as a pho place, but decent beef broth. service here is just next level. We're waiting for the ham and no one was at the station. And as soon as the wait staff saw that situation, it came running over and has someone in the kitchen come and cut me a slice of ham. So this is some of the Korean dishes they have. A whole fish with, oh, look at this. I didn't even know what was under the scallions. Look at all the chilies underneath. Oh man, that, f oh, that fish is tender. Mm. I love steamed fish, but it's something that if you don't do well, you're gonna have a lot of that fishy flavor, and that's why you're supposed to use a lot of gingers and scallions. But this thing, not only is it so perfectly tender, the scallions and chilies don't distract from that nice mild flavor of the fish. Mmm. Not a really good steamed fish. Bamboo, maybe one of my favorite vegetables in the world. I'm telling you, those pandas, they're onto something. There's something about bamboo shoots, if you never had it before, you can stir fry it, you can make it into a salad, you can steam it, there's so many different ways to cook it. And the flavor is just so unique, it's almost got like a natural smoky flavor to it. Oh, that's a good meatball. I think it's just like gravy with pepper covering meatballs. Oh wow, that's so good. Mm. I'll put this over any pasta in the world. Ah. That was a great meatball. So far, every dish I have, so quality. The only kind of sadness I saw in the buffet was they put like really nice crab and they cooked it with broccoli. It's like Halle Berry dating the, the Michelin man. You know that tire guy that doesn't know anything about food? <sighs> anyway, I, I feel like the food gods mock me wherever I go. I was eating a pizza and the whole pizza had like one piece of broccoli. I go on a beautiful buffet mixed with something I really like to eat. The food gods are sometimes a little bit spiteful. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What the heck did I put in my mouth? That was a piece of fish. That was better than the steamed fish. Oh, that is so good. Oh, I'll be thinking about that for a while. What just happened there? It just looked like a normal piece of filet fish, but I can't even describe what the flavor was. It's buttery, flaky, naturally slightly sweet. It's a little peppery from the sauce, but as soon as it hits your mouth, it just kind of falls apart and all the ingredients is mixed together. And if I was one of the judges on Food Wars right now, my shirt be popping off. Mm. Oh, this ham is very nice. Especially like the fatty part, the skin. Oh, that is smoked. Tastes like it was smoked in heaven. Mmm. This is what's known in Korea as hangover soup. You say you got Korean beef scallion sprouts. Looks like some chilies as well. But I'll tell you what, if I did drink, I get wasted every single night. If it meant that the next morning, I could have something like this. Or, you know, I could just have something like this without getting wasted. That's probably better. Oh, this is good. Mm. 
first of all, the beef is extraordinary. They use hanwei in here, which is just the best Korean beef. The broth is spicy and meaty, and you can almost feel like it, it kind of doing good things to your body. Round two was a great round. Okay, round three. Round three, just kind of a mix of a bunch of random stuff. Mmm. Whoa. The frittata is so good. Mmm. The only time I've ever had a frittata, I think it was at an airport lounge. Oh, so good. Mmm. Oh, these are garlic stems. And they deserve songs. Praising their deliciousness, especially the way it's cooked here. They're covered in this pesto sauce, which is on its own amazing. But those things are crunchy, garlicky, with a slight hint of sweet flavor. And usually I try to stay away from, from scrambled eggs, but look at this thing. Is it me where this thing just looks so incredibly creamy and yummy? Mm. Oh, that is smooth. Even better though, when you add a little bit of crunchy pickled vegetables to this thing. Oh. This egg is so smooth. It should have started in all those high school musical movies instead of that Zach guy. Yeah, I think this is smoother. Hmm. Have you ever had Parmesan with honey? No? You gotta try some Parmesan with honey. Here you go. This, I think, is one of the most life-changing experiences if you're a cheese lover. Good Parmesan with honey. Mm. How good is that? That's really good. What were you saying about those tomatoes? So this tomato is like, because I'm a chef, so I work in a restaurant and like to actually cut and peel the tomato one by one, the skin. So wait, they cut and peel one yeah. by one? They have to peel the skin one by one. And to do this, to be this smooth, you have to do the cross section, put it in the hot water, put it in the cold water, and then you peel it one by one. And they did with all the tomatoes. So I'm really impressed. Wow, okay. <laughs> So you're saying this is a good buffet so it's far? It's a really good buffet. But yeah, if you never tried cheese with honey, Parmesan cheese, hard cheese with honey. That's really good. Oh, it's so good. I discovered it at a Brazilian barbecue. Something else I love about this buffet. Look at this. So on these benches, they have these little cushions. They are the most comfortable things ever. So when you're kind of feeling well, like you want to take a little break, lean back, rest until you're ready for more. This is the pastry round. I'm so excited for this round. Got another piece of ham because let's well, look how thick it is. Thick skin, thick fat. T H I C C on my plate. Oh, yeah, baby. Come here. Mmm. Mmm. That is so fatty and nice. This is really the best part of this bacon. Look at that beautiful smoke ring with that translucent layer of fat underneath and also rivering through this cut of meat. I think that waffle might have been sitting there a little too long. Mmm. This thing cut the roof of my mouth up more than that captain guy with the eyebrows on his hat. Like I said, they make all their pastries in-house. You can actually come here and buy cakes and pastries and baked goods. Mm. This is so good. This is the lightest areas pastry I've had in a long, long time. The crunch is so subtle. It's like stepping on slightly dried leaves in the fall. Okay, this feels slightly heavier. I love all their pastries here. This is thicker, but with that same airy light crunch. Mm, perfect with a cup of tea. <sighs> all right, I call this round the bacon round. I love bacon. 
Also, this is really interesting. Matcha yogurt. I am not really into that. I don't think there's any sugar in here. I mean, this is like sour milk and, and matcha. Matcha is good, but oh, I think it's so sour. I think this is gonna be my last round. I think that's it. I've been eating for about two hours now. <laughs> and I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. And I'm going out for a huge lunch later. So I think I'm gonna call it after this for this buffet. Me and Chris have been eating out a lot together because first of all, uh, she's my neighbor. So it's really easy to grab her and go eat anywhere. Secondly, she's always up for eating. And third, she's a chef, so she knows her food. And fourth, this girl can put it away. How many plates have you had today? I come here <laughs> saying, saying like, oh, I'm still full from last night, but uh, <laughs> I ate nine plates. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Whenever I whenever I hear her say like I'm I'm not hungry, I'm still full from yesterday, I'm like, that's not gonna matter. Yeah. She's a true food lover. What do you think about this buffet? This buffet is truly like what you expect you will get, you will get it here. It was perfect. You think you got your money's worth? Yes. I think I get my money's worth. I had like maybe like two words plate of like all the fish. Yeah, that's what you do at a buffet, even at a breakfast buffet. You still, you still gotta consider what's the most valuable item on the buffet. You can never let the buffet win, ever. All right guys, as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.